Hey guys, my name is Matthew. Today we're going to be talking about the 17 to 40 Canon L series lens. It's an amazing lens. You're going to love this. I've owned this lens for the last four years. I've actually owned it on two separate occasions, but I've owned this one for four years now, and I absolutely love this lens. Earlier this year, I owned the 16 to 35 version three, and I owned it for about two months, and then I sold it. This is that video. I wanna talk about why I did that. I'm gonna start with the pros and cons of the 17 to 40, and then I'm gonna talk about that decision. And finally, who is the 17 to 40 for now in late 2019, going into 2020, who should be owning this lens? So the pros of the 17 to 40, the L series lens, a lens built in 2003, it's old, it's long in the tooth, or does it even have any pros in this day and age? Yeah, it does actually. The first one is it's an L series lens. It has the red ring and that has some good things that come along with it. The first one is build quality. Canon really did it on purpose. It's a professional lens. It has weatherproofing. It has all the things that it needs to be out in the weather. I've had it soaking wet. I've had it, uh, maybe not soaking wet, but I've had it very wet. It's been in the mud. It's just been covered in mud actually. And I've dropped it on a couple occasions. And this lens still works perfectly 100% because it was built really, really well. Another thing that L-series lens have going for them is the image quality. Even though this is kind of the little brother in the L-series lens, it's, it's kind of low on the totem pole, according to some people, the image quality is excellent. And unless you're zooming in on the, the corners of your images and your videos and trying to find softness and chromatic aberration, it doesn't stick out. The image quality out of this lens is amazing, and you're not gonna regret buying a lens like this because of the image quality. It's just not really a thing that people even pay attention to, unless you're blowing it up in really big posters or you're sticking it in certain corners of the internet where people care about that. Otherwise, no one's even gonna notice that this image quality isn't amazing because it isn't not amazing. It's an amazing image quality. You're gonna love that too. The third thing that this lens really has going for it is the size and the weight. It's the smallest and the lightest L-series lens. It's a full 10 ounces lighter than the 16 to 35 version three. And that makes a really big difference when you're holding it, the weight it has on the camera, the way it's balanced, all those things matter. And this lens is really great in that category. Another really big deal and something that, that for most shooters, it makes a really big deal is this lens is very cheap. You can buy it for between $200 and $400, and for something that is this good, that's an amazing price for it. The value there is 100% there. You're gonna like this lens if you're going for budget, if you're in a budget area, that's a huge pro for this lens. As far as negatives to this lens, because it has some, especially when it's been compared to something like the 16 to 35 version three, that lens was made in 2016 versus 2003, obviously the lens is much better. Here are some things that this lens is missing. First of all, it's missing image stabilization. It just doesn't have it. And so when you're shooting handheld or if you're shooting in low light situations, the image stabilization is a real knock. Image stabilization is also an effective stop of light. So that makes a difference when you're shooting in low light situations. The 16 to 35 version three that I was using also had F 2.8. So a full stop of light, actual light, less than the 17 to 40 version four. That also makes a huge difference when you're shooting in low light situations, whether you're doing wedding photography or you're in a grimy office or whatever, it makes a difference. And that is a, a major negative. If you're looking at the 17 to 40 and you think you'll be shooting in a lot of low light situations, this may not be the lens for you. If you need this lens to be your low light lens, it's probably not gonna do that because the image quality is also lower at f4 than it is at the higher apertures that's standard but of course in this lens it's a little bit more apparent than in some other lenses so with all of those negatives all those negative things where the 16 to 35 is clearly a better lens why in the world would i sell the 16 to 35 and keep the 17 to 40. when it came down to it when i owned both lenses at the same time the 16 to 35 and the 17 to 40 i would leave for the day and i grab the 17 to 40 throw it on my camera and throw it in my backpack and i was cool with doing that because the lens is so cheap and so light and so small that I oftentimes would get footage, B-roll or, or sometimes pictures that I was hoping to take and I would get those things where I just wouldn't get them on the 16 to 35 because I just didn't grab it. It just was at home or in my bag and not on the backpack that I was actually carrying with me. The size and the weight and the cost of the 17 to 40, I mean, it was way more likely to just throw that thing in my bag and go. It was also a major factor for a lot of the YouTube style stuff that I was shooting where I would do this thing with my camera. 
the 17 to 40 has a better balance in that in that position it's also lighter and so when i'm holding a camera up and vlogging for 10 minutes it's an easier lens to use and so i found that to be much better for me who in 2019 or 2020 should be buying the 17 to 40. i think it's for three people I think it's for someone who's relatively new at photography or videography, and they're looking to upgrade from the kit lens that's on their camera. This is a, a great lens for that. You're gonna love this lens if that's what you're looking to do. You're gonna get a lot better image, and it's just an amazing all around wide angle lens. This lens is also for someone who's on a budget. Obviously, it's so much cheaper than the 16 to 35, maybe 75% off of that lens, or maybe even a lot more than that. You might find this lens for two or $300, and that would be just a huge deal, great for your budget. This lens is gonna be great if you're looking to save a lot of money on a great lens. The last person that I think this lens is for is for someone whose style is very run and gun. If size and weight matter a lot to you, if you're a backpacker or a climber, or if you uh, just like to save weight, or if you just like to throw stuff in your bag and go, you're a one man band and you're doing YouTube style stuff, uh, vlogging and those types of things. If you do anything that size and weight is really important for, then this lens is maybe actually better than the 16 to 35. Of course, if you do need something for a wedding or a specific event that you're shooting, you can always rent the 16 to 35, save yourself the money of not having to own it, but use the 17 to 40 for most of your stuff. That's what I end up doing. If you're thinking about buying the 17 to 40, my recommendation for you would be do it. This is a lens that I think you're gonna love. It's an amazing lens. It's just absolutely wonderful. But even if you decide you don't like it, maybe you shoot with it for a little while and you say, this just doesn't match my style. It's not it's not what I'm shooting. It's not the way it's, I need something different. That's totally fine. Sell it again because it holds its value really, really well. Canon's L-series lenses are known for holding their value. And so if you need to sell it in two months or three months or six months, you'll probably still be able to get the exact same amount of money out of it that you bought it for today. So that's my review of the 17 to 40. If you like this content, if you got any value from it, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, as a new channel, we can use as much engagement as you can. So if you wanna leave a comment below about your favorite lens, whether it's the 17 to 40 or something else, that would be great. Or maybe you own this lens and you don't like something